Hey guys, welcome back to Pass Money Plan. I'm Alex, that's Kirby. And today we're going to be talking about this right here. So I agree completely with this statement. If you take risk, you risk uh, failure. If you don't, you you ensure it. I, uh, I agree. I, you know, I hear a lot of people that say, oh, I had this idea before it was already invented. And, you know, like everyone's always got ideas and stuff. And then someone actually comes out with the vent, the invention, they patent it. And uh, that person still wants to take credit for someone else actually taking action on creating it. And we talked about this in the uh, in the previous reaction video. If you uh, if you want success, you have to take action. You have to take risk and uh, be willing to go in. Yeah. Um, when I see this. When I see the statement. I go back to, I mean, I've heard it say it in different cliches, you know, I've heard it say it in rap lyrics, uh, but the greatest ideas in the world is in the cemetery. And the reason why they come, people come up with these ideas and like you have heard people say, oh, I thought of an idea before it came out, but nobody wants to take the risk. If you take the risk, is it a chance you're going to fail? Yes. If you follow the uh, stats, 83% of small businesses fail in the first three years. True. So is there a chance you can fail? Yeah. Uh, you said in the previous video, you only have really 60, 50, 60 years on this planet to make a difference. Everybody's going to die anyway. <laughs> but you only got 50, 60 years max yeah. to make a difference, you know, for your family, your legacy. So do you just want to live to say, hey, I live? Then I died, but I was no value add to society or to my family or the generations after me. Or do you want to take the risk? Yeah, you might fail. So what? Uh, the worst thing you're gonna have to do is get your butt back up and grind and do it again. Um, I talked I talked to uh people this week and they were saying that, you know, you know, we work so hard to save this money and then we take the if we take the risk and it fail, then we're gonna be sad because the money's gone. But then you know we start talking about inflation, yada yada yada. And then so I said, is your buying power getting higher or is it costing more money to buy things as the years going by for this money you have saved? And they say then we all agree that it costs more. And so they say, Yeah, that's why we gotta keep saving money. So I said, so. If you still have 20 to 30 years to live and you're saving money at this clip and it's costing you more money to buy stuff, 20, 30 years from now, even if inflation just goes 2 or 3%, you're going to need multiples of the money you have now that you, if you think you're going to retire when you hit you know, the age of 65. Yeah. Are you going to be able to make that money just by saving in your lifetime? No. So people know that they have no chance to actually retire. Especially Social Security is a joke, but they know they have no actual feasible way to retire, but they still won't even take the risk. But they can say, oh, well, I saved this much money. It didn't work. Game over. Okay. So is there a chance that you're going to fail if you take risks? Yeah. But as the statement say, you're guaranteed to fail if you don't take the risk. It's really the question to the audience is where, where do you want to be on the side of the ledger? Person that took risk, or somebody that just played it safe, and at the end of the day, that clock gonna stop. And the only question you should you have to ask yourself was I a value add to my family, or to the generation, or to the generations after me? Excuse me. That's the real question that I ask myself. And uh, it, it's a matter of changing your mentality too. Like for instance, um, we all know how frugal I am, so. Me having cash, <laughs> me having me having cash. You know, the only way I'm gonna see we need, a, we need like a crab. We need like the Krabby Patty or Mr. Crab right above your head. <laughs> uh, you ha people have to understand cash, like the saying, "Cash is trash, cash flow is king," and mm -hmm. you have to have that mentality and understand that inflation is a real thing. And at least for me, the way I see it, I only keep cash for a purpose you know, a reserve fund or I'm gonna, I'm about to invest it. Um, but if I have more than a reserve fund, why do I have it? I, I know myself, I know how cheap I am. I'm not going to go buy jewelry or buy a car. I'm never going to do that. 
So if I just left it in the bank for 20, 30, 40 years, I'm wasting it. So, you know what I mean? So I'm going to take the risk with it in, either way, because either I'm going to lose it in, by taking risk or I'm going to lose it by leaving it in my bank account. So people, I mean, it's a matter of just changing your, your mentality. You don't have to be as extreme and frugal as me, but, you know, it works, guys. But, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but you know, it's just I think uh, like Robert Kiyosaki says, um, people have to the hardest part is deprogramming what you've been taught your whole life and then reprogramming yourself to learn a whole new way of thinking. And right. I mean, you're absolutely right about that. Um, so my mom, she uh, she asked me, she asked me, so when are you going to have more babies? <laughs> I looked at her with a straight face and I said, mom, I make babies every day. And then she looked at me crazy. Uh, she looked at me crazy and I said, I send my money out to make babies to bring it back home to me every day. <laughs> and then she just bust out laughing. Oh, that's that's what I do. That's that's how it goes. And, it, and it's just a different mentality, like you said. I mean, it's, it's I believe in just making more, making more, making more, making more, making more. Not because it's, you know, like you, I'm not going to go and buy the Lamborghini. I'm not going to go buy the house on the beach. Well, take that back. I will buy the house on the beach, but I wouldn't live there full time. I would rent it out. I would rent it out, but I wouldn't, I'm I'm not that person that, oh, I gotta be flashy. Everybody gotta see my money. Uh, a wise woman told me a while ago, if you can see the money you have, you're not doing it right. So for all these people who have a house they live in and have the big name brand cars sitting in the driveway, but they got $2 in the bank, that means somebody can just walk past your house and see every dollar you got. So if you can see your money, you're not doing it right. Like somebody walk past my house. Well, my house is okay. But if they see me walking down the street, I'll let you know how I dress. They'd be like, this guy one step above homeless. Because, you know? <laughs> I mean, clothes and stuff don't. I mean, I'm, I'm from Detroit where, you know, dressing up was a thing. And I used to have, you know, all the shoes and the clothes and stuff like that. But once I moved to Florida and then I started, you know, seeing you know, people with money and stuff like that going to the areas with people with money. They look one step above homeless. I said, I need to get look like that. <laughs> I need to look like that. You know, yep. throw all the throw all the Tims and the Air Force Ones and the Jordans, throw those to the side. Give me some Crocs and some shorts, and I'm in there. I'm in here. But um, but yeah. yeah, but that's you know, it's it's about like you said, the mentality, the mentality of it. And but with with that, with you being frugal, with us being frugal, I'm just not as bad as you. But but with us being frugal, it's not like we're sitting here saying, "Oh, we're going to sit here, hold on to this money, and we're not going to do nothing right. with it." We're frugal on buying the stuff that is not a necessity, but we're not frugal on spending money that will make us more money. Like most people have it switched around, they will. Work, work, work their butt off. You know, they'll make 70, 80, 90, 100,000 a year, but they got every name brand thing that they ever wanted. You know, they buy it all. And then they be like, wait, you just bought a rental property? Well, if you cash in some of those purses, bags, and shoes you got and take those back to the store, then you can go buy another one yourself. It's just the mentality of where they want to put their money at. Yeah. People want to get paid and put their money towards wants. And then I'd rather put my money towards going out to make more babies so they, more more little coins come back my way and that's and that's just the difference in the philosophy and but we're willing to take that risk but is there a chance that one I mean you know we could fail I mean you know I'd have we didn't both had hiccups and you know investments we didn't both had hiccups but we had the hiccup we realized the lesson and then we went back and did it again and did it again did it again did it again until it worked so, yeah yeah, it's all that's mentality. Right. Like even with the, uh, say my laptop when I bought it, it was like nine hundred dollars. I was like, man, even if I flip it on eBay, it's only six hundred bucks. <laughs> it's like I already lost my money putting into this. I just yeah. I, I hate putting my money into things that aren't necessary. Now it was a tax write off, and I use it for you know the podcast and all that. But but yeah, it's just to me, it's just or to us, putting money into 
Now, the only thing, and I guess we're we're opposite on this, is you love to blow your money on food. Or not blow your money, but you like to spend money on food. And if I spend money, I, I like so to go cheap. travel. <laughs> He's so like, cheap. I like to go travel and stuff. But sometimes when I travel, I'm like, all right, we got to buy groceries. We ain't going out to eat. <laughs> we're, we're buying groceries. <laughs> Wait, look, 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 look. All right, first off, we are different. We are different. <laughs> I will go. I will go eat. I, you can say blow the money, whatever. I go, I go get some good food. But if it, but you act like the money I spend on food, you're going to, you're going to spend it on traveling. No, he got a coupon. He got a coupon. He probably got a coupon for the gas that he's putting in his car. Like he's, they go grocery shopping. He probably got a hot plate in the trunk and maybe his wife cooking in the back at a rest stop. It is not, it is nothing, it is nothing the same. Like, okay. he's not far off i do have a cash back app for gas and like we, we do take food with us on road trips all right he's not right. Far off yet the only probably job you stop is to use the bathroom that's probably it <laughs> we were like in georgia like in uh augusta was it augusta no no it was it was on the gosh what's that town called right there on the border of uh south carolina i think um it was either Augusta or savannah but i was like you know what i was like let's just go to publix they got cheaper food it's a grocery store <laughs> we'll order something <laughs> i was like we'll get food from there way cheaper <laughs> Man. Lord. so yeah so yeah we, we are different but you you still ain't spending money on these road trips either <laughs> I mean, I mean, but to each his own. I mean, I, I get it. I know why. I know why you're doing it. It's not. I mean, yeah, we, I sit here and make fun of it and all that. But I understand why you're doing it. You're doing it so you can have more capital to deploy somewhere else to make more money. Right now, you probably gonna have a trillion dollars, and you still gonna use the coupons, which to each his own. I but saw, I saw a video of Warren Buffett eating at like a Denny's or something with Bill Gates. I was like, oh my gosh, that would be me. <laughs> Just, <laughs> eating well, the $6 the thing game. is, you, no, this, but the, this is the difference between Warren Buffett and you. You'll be at Denny's and be like, hey, can I wash the dishes to get a discount? <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the difference. That's, that's the difference. <laughs> so, so, so um, yeah. But I mean, but, Either way, but you're doing it for a purpose. It's not just to do it just to be Scrooge McDuck. Right. Or Scrooge McDuck is the great example because he invested in a lot of things that made him money. But right. only thing people see is, oh, he don't have the flashy car, he don't have this, he don't have that. Then, oh, that means he don't have money. No, have it. And I always use this analogy. I'd rather be the part than look the part. Most people work, 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 have no money to their name, but they have the stuff to make it look like they have money. But as soon as a family emergency come, they got GoFundMe pages up. They try to cook dinner plates and all that just to say, you know, to bury a family member and all that other stuff. I mean, just, but they can't afford that. You know, I'd rather be the part. I'd rather look homeless every day, 365 days a week. I mean, it probably helped me out because then nobody will rob me. Like, oh no, he ain't look like he got nothing. We ain't no sense of robbing him. But I have the money. Like it hasn't been a time where somebody said, "Hey, this emergency popped up and I couldn't do it." It, it hasn't been a time where somebody called me and said, "Hey, your rental property burned down," and I was like, "Oh my god, what am I gonna do?" And no, I haven't had those. I haven't had those issues because I have the money to cushion the blow. You know, and that's and that's where the mindset is different from a lot of people. Is they think they oh if I and then they fake it till they make it, but they never make it. Then they don't realize the reason why they don't make it is because they're faking, and then they get so entrapped on what people think of them instead of actually going out there and doing it. So, but that's all I got on it. I ain't gonna beat that over the head no more. <laughs> I agree. Well, guys, with all that being said, uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, share with everyone you know, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.